Early one morning, Donald and Douglas had been sent to the docks. They had a very special assignment from Sir Topham Hatt. A new engine had come to help the twins with shunting in the yards, and Donald and Douglas had to show them around. Soon enough, an engine was loaded off the boat and onto the rails. He was painted black, like Donald and Douglas, and he was a steam engine. His number was 13. Hi, my name is Joe, but you can call me Joey if you like. Oi, I'm Donald, and that's Douglas. <laughs> Some engines on my railway say I'm unlucky. I think it's because of my unusual design. So, said Donald, this here is the docks. It's where you came in on that boat. Come with us, and we'll show you the shunting yards. Joel and the twins left the docks. Later that day, Joel was ready to help out. Donald and Douglas pulled away full coal trucks while Joe shunted the empty ones. Joel watched as Donald and Douglas puffed away with the trucks. They were laughing together. Joel became jealous. I could pull trucks too, he said to himself. He wanted to prove himself worthy for when Donald and Douglas would come back. He coupled up to a long line of heavy trucks. And he waited. It felt like forever. Donald and Douglas weren't back yet. <sighs> I guess I'll go on my own. This can't be hard if Donald and Douglas can do it. Joey pulled forward, but the trucks were very heavy. Soon, Joel had puffed and chuffed so much that he finally was able to make his way down the line. This is easy, exclaimed Joel. But Joel's bad luck soon got the best of him. Joel felt himself speed up. Whoa! He cried. The trucks thought it was funny that Joel was new, so they decided to play their tricks. Joel was speeding down the line. He zoomed right past Donald, who was coming down the other track with some coaches. Donald was speechless. Joel continued down the tracks in shock. Boko passed him. Slow down, Speedy! Someone help me! He said. Just then... Joel saw the aftermath of a landslide on the tracks in front of him. There had been a landslide before Joel arrived, and they hadn't cleaned it up yet. Joel shut his eyes. And then, Joel opened his eyes. He was in the middle of the pile of fallen rocks. He had been scratched up quite a bit. Donald and Douglas came back with the breakdown train to pull him out. You need to learn that pulling heavy trucks could lead to danger. We'll help you. Sir Topham had sent Joel to the steamworks to get fixed up. Donald and Douglas waited outside for the grand reveal. Joel puffed forward. He had new engine parts and got repainted. Not only was Joel fixed up, but he was a really useful engine. Wow! Thank you so much, Donald and Douglas! I guess we can call you 13, the unlucky engine! The three engines laughed. Joel can now go back to the mainland without feeling ashamed of his unusual design. And I think his bad luck has gone away. <laughs>